We've made it here to Buddha Park. Can I have a ice espresso? Ice espresso? Uh huh. And uh, Thai tea ice. Before we made our way to Buddha Park, we decided to grab some drinks to give us a little boost. The coffee culture in Southeast Asia is surprisingly great. Lao is no different. How much? 40? Correct? Yes? Okay. Cup chai. Mmm. Home coffee Lao. It's good. I like it because it's not super sweet. Iced espresso, it's like a Southeast Asian staple. Definitely in Thailand, you get these everywhere. The sun is in my face, so I'm kind of like, I need new sunglasses because I annihilated mine. They lasted about six, five and a half, six months, and they normally last me six minutes. So I suggest getting, if you're like me, a klutz, get you some $3 glasses, and that's what I'm in search for. A dollar to three dollars, that's my budget for some new glasses. But yeah, this is good. You know, I'm a black coffee drinker. I do tonics, espresso tonics, stuff like that. But here in Southeast Asia, I've been gravitating towards these. I don't like milk, stuff like that. But because there's not so much cheese in the diet here, like lactose intolerant and cheese kind of messed me up, I get these and I can handle it every once in a while. We're just out taking a little stroll. Took a little walk across the street. You got this park to have these nice outdoor gym situations out here. That I really like. I don't know if you can see that. Not that it has this, but this reminds me of being in North, North Hollywood around Magnolia. Just walking around here. Never thought I would feel that here all the way in Laos. It's crazy. It just feels super homey. I feel like I'm at home, you know? I feel like I'm in LA or San Diego or something like that. Beautiful day. I would say this to me is perfect weather. Like actual perfect weather. Look at this place. Ding! Just normal walk. That's cool. I love these huge buildings. I have no idea what they're for. Maybe somebody can enlighten me in the comments. It's just beautiful here. We're walking to the bus station to maybe get on the bus. We don't know. And I am camped about in the middle of the street. We're here at the bus station. You know what? Looks like a station for buses. I know what I was expecting. I'm lightweight. I'm trying to go to this spot right here. I want to be there. It's not a lot of foot traffic here, but we're just kind of coming on a whim. Seems kind of loud. A little intense. No, not really. We've been in crazy bus stations. This is not one of them. Yeah, I think we just... Okay. Okay.
Buddha Park. At least we think so. There's also a Western couple here, equally confused. So we said either we're going to the right place or the wrong place together. I think we're going to the right place. Yeah, there's no like grab or bolt or anything like that here. So you either have to walk wherever you're going, get a tuk-tuk or know somebody, or you, I guess you can get a bike. But it really wasn't an option for us. We're gonna be going tomorrow. So we just did a 20 minute walk and jumped on the bus. We'll see what happens. Welcome to Buddha Park. For all my friendly coffee fans, if you're on the go and you've been inconvenienced by there not being a coffee shop nearby, grab you a Robusta. It's a uh, robust. We finally made our way into the park. Outside of seeing some brochures and what we found on the internet, we really had no idea what we were in store for. We were pleasantly surprised. We hope you enjoy. to the mouth of this thing. This is dope. Ooh. Look in there, y'all. That's so tight and scary. Yeah, I'm scared. Ooh. Check this out. Yeah, I'm definitely ducking the entire way. Whew. This is hit me right in the L4. Right in the L4. Let's see if we can get a different perspective here. Wow. This is cool. There's another creator in here too, I think with his family. There's some stairs. Let's make it harder. Up here. Ooh, these stairs are narrow. Look at these narrow stairs. I'm catwalking low key. Ooh. And I also have coffee in my left hand. Not the wisest decision. Oh, ah, cool. We're doing our thing. This place is really cool. We almost didn't come. But we decided last minute, let's get out of bed, go see something. Y'all want to go inside? Let's go inside. Check this out, y'all. Some offerings. There's some other creators and tourists here, so I'm going to try to keep my volume down. This is incredible. Wow. Some stairs right here. That goes up into another portion. That's cool. All right, we're coming up. Sketch? No, it's not sketchy. It's really not anything. Just a little condensed. Oh wow, this is cool.
This is so fresh. I don't know much history about this place, but it's pretty impressive. Seeing the pictures online of being here is like, it's totally different. Wow. Looks like there's one more level. Actually, there's two more levels. Hold on. Lit. Hey, well, are you coming or not? Let's go. It's narrow in here, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> this place is really cool. It keeps getting smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller. I feel a little stuffy, but <laughs> it's cool because there's like air pockets. There's like holes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. One more. I see light, people. There's light at the end of this tunnel. Let's get it. What? I have to legit crawl through that joint. Oh, snaps. How did you get out of here? Did you go front ways? Oh. Ooh. OMG. It's cool up here though. Babe, you coming? Next, we're gonna crawl up these. Yeah, I'm definitely lying, we're not doing that. Look at this. It's pretty high up here, but if it looks like a steep slope, it is, but I feel like there's good footing. It's not wet up here or anything like that. It's not scary. Otherwise you would know. You would know I'd be letting you know, or I just wouldn't be up here at all. Do not climb these obvious handles that are made for climbing. I bet you somebody's crazy enough to do it. Obviously workers, but you probably have Yahoo's doing this. I'm not one of them. I guess you can go down that way. It looks like a an edge, but it's not. There's like a little deal that they're dropping into. A little too close to the edge for me. We're gonna go back into the little center one. This place is super cool. When I first saw people up here from their vantage point, down here, I thought it was just workers up here. I definitely couldn't see. I thought it was workers up here just doing whatever, but no, it's tourists. That's cool. Got a group of monks down there. We finished up inside the giant pumpkin and started to make our way outside. It was funny because we forgot how many floors were inside of the structure, so we got a little confused. And I definitely bumped my head on the way out. So be careful. This isn't a large place, but it has depth. These structures are amazing. What do you think of this place, Angie? It's beautiful. It's pretty nice, ain't it? Yeah. Look at it, y'all. It's so Thank you. 
so my wife and I were talking and it's just, it's mind blowing having the experience of being all the way on the other side of the world. I didn't know that this place existed. Many of the places here, obviously, we didn't know that they existed, but just being here is, it's just such a privilege. We're both just like, <sighs> right now. And it's, you know, if you would have told me the weather would be what it is, understand something. Uh, it feels like I'm in Southern California. I probably said that in a bunch of clips, but I feel like just temperature wise, I'm in Southern California. I proposed to my wife in Descanso Gardens, which is in the LA area, north of Glendale, California, if you know where that is. And we're in this temple with these uh, statues and things like that. Descanso Gardens is a bunch of like flowers and little mini structures and stuff, but the feel is just, it's so similar temperature wise and just some of the aesthetics with the greenery, but it's also so different. It's just like, just our minds are just blown right now. It's crazy. Wow. Remember how I was talking about Descanso Gardens? I might be a prophet. I don't know if you can see, but right on the other side of this fence, looks like they're growing some peppers over here. Out in the distance, right across the Mekong River, is Thailand. It felt pretty interesting seeing it from this vantage point. We took a quick break right before we started to explore the rest of the park. thing we didn't see is that you could do an audio tour. I don't know if that would have changed much for us, but it did feel kind of, you know, kind of lacking based on the fact that we didn't have any information. And there was, there were guides, you know, uh, one through, I don't know, 60 something, maybe more. So if you ever come to this place, Buddha Park in Laos, just know that you can get an audio tour there might actually be uh, a paid guided tour as well with an individual, but I'm not exactly sure on that. Audio tours in our experience have been pretty nice. So if you're interested in that, and it's cool because they take all these different currencies as well. I see a lot of different currency that they take. So that's cool. We bought this fresh batch of strawberries at the market last night. They're crazy good. I don't even like fresh strawberries. I like strawberry flavor and in my shakes and stuff like that or a pie, but these are actually amazing. 
So they normally give this like, what is it, like salty or more sugary? It's a little bit of both. Yeah. It's more sugary. Yeah, that stuff is good too. It does kind of have like a low-key taste Mexican, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we actually finished on time and the bus was supposed to be here at 4.10 and we thought we got stranded. <laughs> we had to wait a couple minutes but it made it just in time and before getting on the bus there was like another big truck that was blocking the view of the bus stop so we were afraid that we were going to miss the bus but we made it. Yeah it's kind of funny just the feeling you get because it's not like I'm in Southern California, I miss the bus if I'm taking a bus or miss some type of transportation. I'm like what? That's lame. But with here, there's like somewhat of an anxiety that comes with uh, just feeling like you're gonna get stranded. You're gonna be in some, not just unfamiliar situation, because that can happen anywhere, but more so an uncomfortable situation. Um, but it just kind of comes with the territory of traveling to a new land. I think I'm starting to just get used to being uncomfortable and not assuming bad things are going to happen. Um, yeah. As you can see, it's legit nobody on the bus. Me, my wife, this passenger, and the bus driver. The bus is in here clean they smell nice acs are blasting there's no smoking You're not supposed to eat in here but they do have like this trash bin so they keep it pretty clean in case anybody was wondering i wouldn't mind taking the bus around here i've heard they're not all alike so i guess you got to be mindful of that but this one from vntn all the way to where we just came from, Buda Park, too easy. I've got information on these screens for you, which makes things a little bit more convenient. They even have posted prices. We just simply got on, and then somebody came to collect the bus fare, which was 12,000 kip. It's less than a dollar. So for both of us, obviously less than two bucks. To travel, probably about 35 45 minutes if you can see that it says 8,000 kip a piece however we paid 12,000 kip a piece so i asked someone on the bus that was kind enough to explain that the prices simply went up but they didn't change the print i also watched several people pay 12,000 kip so we didn't get taken advantage of for a second i was like hey now you're a rock star but that's, that wasn't the case. We didn't get got. I don't know if I would have been that mad about 4,000 kip, but just the feeling of, you know, a piece. Both ways, you know, just the feeling that you get taken advantage of is not a good one. So, yeah, we're good. So, when we left our hotel to try to get a ride over here, we're ignorant to just kind of how it goes. So, obviously, you can get on the tuk-tuk, ride a bike, something like that. But... I don't think there's apps and stuff like that, like there is in Thailand and other places. So we talked to a tutu driver and he offered us to take us there and take us back for 400,000 kip, which really isn't a whole, whole lot of money, but we got on this bus for 12,000 kip a piece each. So, you know, 48,000 kip to go there and back in the AC and one of the faster ways we can go so you know if you feel like you're about to spend more than you should or you just feel like you're hitting a threshold always look for different options we decided to walk 20 minutes to go to the bus station we had never gone to get random information kind of just go on the fly so always double check stuff don't be scared to ask around and there were people that were nice enough to help us as well